to another episode of Weird Beer Fishing, y'all. Okay. Let's be serious. So, I have got a good video for you guys today. Today, we're going to be going to the Scioto River for some swim bait action. And I'm telling you what, if you guys have not been using swim baits in rivers, you definitely have to. Look for the current breaks and fish just before and just after those points and I promise you, you will definitely have some action and more than likely, you're gonna have a multi-species day also. If you guys are new here to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell and so that way you guys know when I'm gonna drop a new video. And I try to give out quite a bit of tips here on this channel. I try to put out some stuff to where you guys can learn some things and hopefully it helps you guys catch some more fish. Without further ado guys, let's get into the episode for today. Boom, got the swim bait all set up. And now we are going to be rocking and rolling. A little bit of a drive, so I've lost quite a bit of light, but might be worth it. So let's see. There's one. Oh, that's something good. Oh yeah. First fish on the new rod. This is small jaw. Get your butt up here. Look how they downed that thing. Dude, this thing is a chunky, oh my goodness. Look at the giant sore on the side of its mouth. That small jaw wanted that swim bait. Bam. Look at that chunky monkey. All right, let this guy go. <laughs> Look at him, just like stunned. What do I do? What do I do? Here, I'll tell you what you do. Go and be free and get bigger. See what I mean, guys, with that Lunker Hunt uh, jig head is those swim baits stay on there. Well, there goes that. That was quick. Another jig head. Another jig head. You know what? I just threw that same one a few times. Let's throw a different color. Smoky gray. Get again those big bites. Pro swimmers, man. I love these little things. I definitely think I like the white a little bit better just because the clarity of water and it's getting darker. So, put Mr. Shimmer Glimmer here back and put the white back on. That's it. Oh, no, there's a big one. I bought quite a few packs of these things because I really do believe in them. Catch a lot of fish on these things. Boom. Got the white back on. Don't tell me this place is a one and done. Nope. There we oh, no. Oh, there we go, got it. Well, let's try right up here and see if there's any saw guy sitting up here. There's one. No, it came off. I'm gonna have to fight it lighter. You suck. There it is. Fight it li nice and light now. Don't fight it hard. Oh, he's a small jaw. Oh, 
other fish might have been a small jaw then, and that other fish felt way harder. Whoa, my goodness. Look at that thing. Dude, that thing is obese. Definitely multiple of them there, whatever it is. I don't know if it's just all smallmouth or saw guy or what. I know now just to fight them real easy. Oh, nope, that way. Felt like a bite. Dude, this rod is ridiculous. I literally just cast it all the way across the side of the river right here. You know what? I see a bunch of stuff chasing Chad right over here. Should throw in the whopper popper real quick and see if I can get something. And that's what I shall do. Alright. Don't, don't slip and fall there. Dum dum. Dum dum. Dum dum. Dum dum. Ay, ay, ay. Woo woo. Woo woo. Woo woo. <laughs> Come in. You little booger. Something about Whopper Poppers, man. Their hooks are gnarly. They get everything. Oh wow, look, there's a bunch of, there's fish chasing minnows up there. God, I wish I could get that far. It's not even worth trying to chase those dang things because I can't, can't run that far that fast. There's one. Oh yeah, saw guy. Not a bad one either. Oh, hey, hey, chill. Chill, chill dude, chill dude. Chill, my dude. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Shaw guy. Now see if there's any of your brothers here. Well, brothers, sisters, whatever. Whatever you guys I want to call that want to catch you. There's oh there was one. Man, there's still fish up there attacking bait fish. I really want to go up there. But how can I leave, how can I leave fit, you know, catching fish for fish that are just smacking the top and I don't even know what they are. Oh, there's one. Dang it. Huh? Did you guys see that fish? Look, there's a smallie jumping after minnows and stuff over there. Gosh, I wish I could get to that other side. I'm gonna try and cast over there once. Wow. Oh, I can definitely cast over there. Can I get my bait back though without getting hung up? Nope. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh, there was one. Oh, that was a hard hit, man. There's one. He running. Oh no, it came off. It's like it only had into the swim bait. Man, 
They are just chomping right now. He was running with it. There's one. I'm going to keep up with it this time. What is that? Is that a... That's a spotted bass. Sweet. No, that's species. Dude, seriously. Look, that swim bait was all the way down in his gullet. He was ready to eat. Three species right here. That's pretty sweet. Switch it up a little bit. A little bit lighter jig head. See if I can get caught up a little less. See if a color change makes a difference. I mean, I wish I had my Sartreuse or that new Midnight Purple-like edition that they came out with, but gotta deal with what I got because I don't have time to go to the truck. I don't know how I feel about this. It matches the water color so well. I feel like I need something brighter. See, I think the brightness of it is what helps him see it. And I know, like smallmouth, they're an extremely visual hunter. There's one. Oh, it came off. Am I being too hard with these things? I mean, I have this set pretty dang loose. That thing just crushed it. There's one. What are you? Oh, you're a baby sow guy. Or are you a sauger? <gasps> I think you're a sauger. There's no white and there's only spots. Sweet. Chill, my dude. See what I told you guys. Swim baits, swim baits, and oh yeah, some more swim baits. There's one. Oh no. Man, these things come off so easy. Didn't bend the hook out or anything. Dag on, man. There's one. Oh no, dude. How in the heck? Do these fish just keep coming right off? There's one. Nah, it feels like a good one. Oh, no shit. I had no idea that my heads were going in the dark. <laughs> Man, what did I tell you guys? I told you that it could be very, very successful using a swim bait in a river before and after a current break so most of the time for me fish like saw guy that more of like lay in wait and aren't chasing you know actively chasing fish they usually like to sit in front of the current break and wait for them to bring to them now something like a small mouth or a striper will sit on the back side of it and wait and as soon as a fish comes out they'll jot out chasing and just grab that fish but until the next time, guys, I'll catch you on the next episode of Weird Beard Fishing.